Hello internet people, my name is Robert and I'm your website guy. In this video I'll show you how to create an interactive background in Elementor so you can get cool particle effect like this. Sure. So you can see in the background there's these little particles, they're very subtle because I didn't want it to make it too much, but they also react to interaction so when I hover over they disappear so it's really cool. Or you could also add your own icon and make something creative like this. We will be using a popular JavaScript library called particles.js and you won't need any plugins for this tutorial. Yes! Yes! Tape sweat punch. If you're looking to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you get notified about new video tutorials. First, let's take a look at how you can generate and customize your particles. Head to the description of this video and click on the first link. Sure. So once you click on the link, you'll land on this page and here you can see you can start interacting with this. So basically, this is like a builder. So here you can select particles, what the kind of like how many and shapes and things like that. You can also have there's a couple of different themes that you can start working with or play around. You can see that there's uh, just a few things you can work with. No shit. Now let's say I want to use this NASA, which is just kind of these particles. There's just so much you can do with this because you can adjust so many things. You can adjust how many particles. Don't overdo it though, because the more particles you have, the more resources you will need. But basically you can play around here with colors and things like that. And let's say I actually want something red. You can see you can change that. Also the sizes, everything is possible here. And what I find cool is that you can also change, where was it? It was in the shape. You have this image section and what this makes, let me show you, it's really cool. So here you can just copy paste an image preferably it's a um, transparent PNG. And when you select from here, image, you can see that it's tiny logos. Let me increase the size of this. So here size, let me make it a bit bigger. You can see that they're tiny logos or whatever you want it to be. And they interact the same way as the particles themselves, but you can go really creative with this and come up with whatever you, you think works the best. There's a lot of uh, things you can uh, adjust here. I'm not going to go through them. Just play around, have fun with it. Like Neymar is having fun at WRC. Hey, if you like this video so far, consider hitting the like button. That would help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And then let's say um, I'm going to change this. Uh, I want to have the default NASA. So let's say I like this one. The only thing is I'm going to just reduce a, a little bit the number of particles. I, I don't want them to be so many. Let's say this one. Next, I prepared some extra code so that it will work well in Elementor structure. Sure. So once you're done, all you have to do is click on this code pen and you will need this JavaScript code here. But before you do that, just go into the description of this video and click on the second link. It's a zip file that will download on your computer. So let me show you. Ooh, how did that get there? I have it already here. So all you have to do is open it up and then open this in notepad or whatever you want. It's in TXT file. so. It should work anywhere. So what do you do? You have now this script and you need to paste the JavaScript here. So let's go to the particles. I'm oh, sorry, to this page and here JavaScript and here just click here, right click anywhere and select all. And now you can copy it. And now you go to that TXT file. You just download it and place that code here. Make sure it's between these two uh, the script uh, tags. So just somewhere between them, throw it in there. It's a lot of code, but you don't need to worry about it. Sure. 
Okay, so now we have all the code we need. Let's head to the page with Elementor. Now you need to copy all of this, just copy it. And now head to your Elementor. So go to your uh, Elementor, to this section, and in the mosaic, just choose HTML and drag this section here. It doesn't really matter where you put this one, just below the button like that. And then you paste the code here. And then what you need to do is you have to edit the section. So the section that you want the particles to appear in and in advanced, you have to add a CSS ID, which in this case is particles-js. So you just add it like this and then click on update. And then if you go to your homepage and refresh it, you should see these particles floating around. Now, if you want them to float beneath this image and this text, then you go to Elementor and you just simply, for example, for the image, edit video, you go to advanced and there's the Z index. You give it a value of one and same thing for the heading, advanced and there's Z index, just give it one and this text block as well, same thing. And then, and then update. And now if you go to the home page, refresh the page, you'll see that the, the sparkles or whatever, they are behind the image. And it just adds a bit more extra to the site. But just be aware that this does slow down the website slightly. So it's something extra. If you really like it and you're not too worried if the website loads slightly slower, then you're gonna implement this. Since you have a fancy animation on your website now, how about optimizing it for fast loading times? For that, check out the first video here. And in the second video right here, I'll show you how to get royalty-free images and illustrations for a website. Whoosh!